Hi, it's Richard here from the Siebel Hub. In this IP2014 video, we're going to take a look at Product Configurator, specifically Product Definitions and User Interface. To begin with, I'm going to select one of the products I used in a previous video and drill down on the workspace. I'm using the side menu version of the Aurora theme, so I'm now going to select from the drop-down User Interface. For the purpose of my demonstration, I'm going to create one new user interface option, which I'm going to call Test1. You will see that the option type drop-down still contains the same values as it did before the arrival of OpenUI. I'm going to enter a sequence using the funky new calculator, if I really knew how to use it. There we go. And in the base theme drop-down, I am going to select the one and only base theme which has a suffix of open UI. Okay, I'll make it bigger so we can read the names. So I'll select the open UI theme. Likewise, in the product theme drop-down, I will select the only OUI product theme. Now that I've created my user interface option, I'm going to break it down into two logical parts. After drilling down on my user interface, I will create two logical tabs, labeled Part 1 and Part 2. I will select, once again, the Open UI theme, so I'm standard grouping, add a sequence. Now, Using the tree applet on the left hand side, I'll select an item and using the cog menu, click Add Item to add it to part one. I'll repeat the process for a second item. Now I'm going to create a second logical tab called part two, choosing the same OUI grouping theme, and I will add the final component to this logical group. I'll return to the product definitions list and with my newly created user interface option I will select the option in the workspace and click validate in order to test drive it. The Siebel Open UI theme opens with my two logical tabs clearly defined and clearly displayed with a blue bar to indicate the active one. I can enter attributes and invalid values receive any messages. I can also then click the next button to move to the second logical tab, add an item and a quantity and click add item. In the bottom right hand corner are any relevant messages and I see that I can now pretty much say that it works out of the box. In way of comparison here is a second user interface option that I have created using non-open UI themes for both the base, the product, and grouping. I have added the same components in the same logical fashion as in the first version. And so with my newly modified product definition I can return to workspace and from the option list select the second version called Test2, which you'll remember is using non-open UI themes for the base, the product, and grouping. Click Validate to test drive it. In spite of the fact that I'm using non-open UI product theme, base theme, and grouping theme, it renders nonetheless. We can suppose with reasonable certitude that modifying this through the use of style rules, themes, and CSS would be much more complicated than using the OUI theme with its new style of web templates, but nonetheless we can say that this works pretty much out of the box. I can change the attribute values, I can select the next button and go to the second logical tab, add an item, enter a quantity quite successfully. I can scroll up and on the right hand side of the page see any relevant messages. and click Done when I've finished. That's it for this short and sweet side-by-side -side comparison.
for IP2014 Product Configurator. See you next time on the Siebel Hub.